Well, if we have a quadratic in this form, this standard form, where y equals a x minus h squared plus k, then we can figure out everything we need to know about this quadratic from this form. So the vertex is going to be at h and k. Axis of symmetry is going to be x equals h. It's always that cool or that value of x in the vertex. Which way does this open? Well, we know that if a is greater than zero, meaning a is positive, this thing has to open up. And if a is less than zero, this thing opens down. So that's pretty straightforward. If we if it's positive or negative, it tells us the direction of the opening. What about expansion or compression? Now, if our a value is a number greater than 1 or the absolute value is what I should be more specific, meaning if that number for a is either a number bigger than 1 or a number less than negative one, that's what the absolute value means, then this has been vertically expanded. So we've made that graph vertically up and down. We've pulled on it. We've made it skinnier. We've vertically expanded it. And now if the absolute value of A is less than one, and what that means, if, it, if we're saying the absolute value of A is less than 1, then it's between, it's a fraction value less than 1 or greater than negative 1, then this is what we say has been compressed vertically. Or vertically compressed, doesn't matter which order you say it in. So that's the graph that has been squished. And what's the maximum or minimum? Well, the maximum or minimum is determined by your y value. So it's either a max or min. And remember, it's a maximum if the graph opens down, or a minimum if the graph opens up, of y equals k. So as we can see, everything comes from this equation. This is a very important equation, standard form, standard form.